Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Potting with Shalon. I am Shalon and today what we're doing, well this is the first in a series of pruning and reports that we're going to do. We have several plants that, and again I apologize for the noise, you know, you're living amongst people. So we have a series of plants that we have to do some reporting on and we have to do some pruning right so this is the first in that series so as per usual let me just go so guys what we have here today is a ginseng ficus and i've allowed the ficus to grow i attempted i did some wiring and if you notice here let me bring you in a little closer if you notice here there are some curves there are some curves on the leader because it was wired and I allowed it to grow and grow it has. So now we are at the stage where I want to prune it back. And before I started recording, which is a habit that I have, you know, because you had to get accustomed to the recording thing. I don't prune off a branch already. I prune a branch already. Yeah, I I I I pruned our branch already. So now we're gonna look at we're gonna look at the entire tree. Look at what we want to take it away because ideally I want this a lot more compact and I want to encourage low dense growth. Now a lot of people don't necessarily like the root system of the ginseng ficus. I I like it. I think it's rather interesting. You know, um, I've noticed on other bonsai videos where the major roots, they cut the major roots in half and cut it and create a root spread from it. I, however, I like this in its natural form. What I will do, however, when we are reporting this, I'm going to look at the root work and try to encourage that circular root spread from this base yeah so what we're doing today we're gonna look at the growth and we're gonna take it back to encourage that canopy type look and you know a more powerful looking tree yeah so there we go all right so we have this is the root system here and just off of this root system you're seeing this branch here now this branch comes out nicely and originally i would have made a cut at this point here so as you can see here this is a branch that comes out here nicely and this branch was coming from this point and i made this cut here and from this point here it grew out here and if you remember on the video that I just posted we spoke about dieback so we had a bit of dieback here so this is a dead piece that we're gonna take off maybe we went a little bit far <clears throat> but we want to encourage a closer more compact growth and this is a bit long for what we want to get so there's growth here at this point here so so I am going to cut back to this point here and taking that off there. And this is the rule that we're going to follow around. We're going to look at all of the branches going straight up and we're going to cut back and bring bring that, that canopy, bring that um, this branch in and more compact. Right, so we're going to the back here. Now, there's a branch in the back here. Let me turn the plant so that you can see. 
this branch in the back here as you can see it comes straight out and the, the nearest possible branch the nearest possible sign of growth is here no um hmm. this too long way 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 too long unless we develop in this as a cascade this is way too long so i'm going to take this back to hmm. choices choices i want to take this back to here for now and let's see what happens right on the heels of this we have this branch here and as you notice we have some leaves that kind of pretty big shading out right so to give you a bit more of uh, a view on it right i need to make sure that i can i know what you're seeing there is this branch here with these leaves that kind of is not i don't think it's the best possible branch so i'm going to want to to add a little ramification i'm going to take this back to this point here right leaving this outward facing leaf so that new growth would follow that outward facing leaf the branch just below it as you can see it comes out and there's nothing happening here until we reach back to this point right so i'm going to take away at least half of that and clearly i was mistaken because i did not look at what i was doing properly there was growth and i just took off growth lesson learned lesson learned all right so we have this growing up this way we have this this branch with a development coming out here all right we have this one here we also have this one here with this right here so so we're going around and around and we are at this point here right where i have this branch coming out here and i have another branch coming out at the same spot and uh, I would want to take away one of them because it will encourage inverse taper and I don't want to encourage that that is where two branches coming out of the same spot and this spot that they're coming out becomes bulbous and kind of ugly so we have to make a little decision here and you might think that I'm talking a bit fast and I'm going a bit fast is because I'm working kind of late is after six and it's gonna get dark soon so we have to look at what we want this comes up this branch behind here had some wire on it and it comes up and it, there's a bend coming out this way if I take away this it leaves this open space And if I take away this one, it leaves a more dramatic open space. So I am going to take away this one here. And we're going to clean up this spot a little bit better. All right because we have this little fellow right to the bottom here that could grow and fill this space for us right now we have this guy growing here and i want i'm going to take him back to this point oopsie And I want to take him back to this point here. 
leaving some outward facing leaves. So, so far, so cool. Now, we are the big guy. And this big guy is going pretty tall. Very, very high up. So, hmm. This guy comes out from the side here. And from the side here, there is this, there is this branch here. Now these leaves are blocking, right? So there is this branch here that we could possibly develop as the new leader. And I'm thinking and I'm thinking. I want to take this back here and let's see if anything develops from this. So I'm going to, according to Nigel Saunders, I'm going to do a Hail Mary cut. And I am going to cut back to, and if nothing grows from here, we're going to have to do some development. No. Olio, we're cutting a lot. We are cutting a lot of branches. And we're hoping that from these cuts, we get a lot more ramification from the tree. You know, so here I'm going to cut packs. Yep, that's a pretty big cut. And I'm going to, I'm not going to waste this. I'm not going to waste this at all. I'm going to plant this and see if we could propagate this and get a tree from this so now that we have taken away that guy we could see a bit more of the tree a lot more of it and this here is my apex this guy coming out here I've left this one leaf to see if anything develops everybody that I've left I've left them with something to see if something develops and this guy would we there's a guy in the back here who's very long I'm not sure that he making sense and I'm gonna take him away right and I'm going to clean up this cut. So that could heal over nicely. And then this big cut that I make here, so this big cut that I make here, so I'm gonna clean this up. Right? So that could heal over nicely. Now when I got this plant, it already had this very big cut. Let me see. Yeah. You can see it here truly. It already had this very big cut. I don't know why, but that is how I got it. So, we're going to see if with these sets of cuts here, I could even go back further on this. Right, guys so what we're gonna do we're gonna leave this and we're gonna see what comes of this plant right there is one root I don't know if you can see it yeah you can this fellow here grows down comes across uh, I don't think I necessarily want that root, but I think I would attack that when I am going to repot this plant. So we did some extensive cuts on this ginseng ficus and we're hoping to get some pretty decent ramification and eventually turn this into 
something that you know we could smile at you know i mean i smile at all my trees whether good bad or indifferent i smile but you know we want to turn this into something a little more appealing and a little bit more on the bonsai side of things so i'm going to give him a water in and put him back on the on the bench to, to heal up so hold on right so i have more water here and i have added a little bit of miracle grow into more water and i'm gonna water up this guy and we're gonna leave him for a couple of weeks or so to see what is happening you know and hope for the best well not hope for the best we're gonna get the best because the tree is gonna survive right but we are going to have to report this guy we should have reported him already but this is gonna be in another video so what I have to do guys is start making um, I guess profiles or tracks or whatever you call it playlists for each tree I guess well, they are new to this thing, and anyway. well, I mean, I ain't so new again, but all right, so he is properly well watered, and uh, that's it for this guy. So, we're gonna look at reporting this branch. Alright guys, so this is the, the ficus that we planted here amongst our other little projects and whatnot. Um, so let's monitor and see what is happening here. You know, um, and that's it. As soon as I start to record, as soon as I start to record, it's all kind of a canal. All, all, all kind of lockery and bacchanal and noise. We go do boy. Anyways, that's it for today on Potting with Chalon. As I said, <coughs> this is the start in a series of um, plants that we're going to report and, you know, um, put them into better pots or whatever the case is, look at root work and that kind of thing. So we have a few well to do. So, we just could. Take care, guys. Bye.